everybody, this is Water Elemental, and this is the Hex Shards of Fate Beta! We are in the closed beta, and as you can see, this is our opening screen now. What you can see is actually me and my new uh, creation screen. If you were in the alpha, they did a carbon copy of your login and all your names taken and all that stuff, so if you were in the alpha, all your login stuff is the same. If you just got your invite, follow the instructions very carefully, and then they'll kind of walk through it. So, as you can see right here, this is your keep name. Uh, I'm selecting my original one. I am Lightsworn, uh, named after my paladin, World of Warcraft, Camp Dare, Lightsworn, champion of light and good. Feel free to add me if you guys are watching this. I am always up for friends. Uh, more people to play with gets me excited and lets me do stuff. So, I'm going to keep that. I'm a lord, manly. You also must pick your starting deck. Uh, this is a new thing to the beta. They are going to start rolling back free stuff. And that's one thing to keep in mind. So I'm going to go... Mm, I'm going to go with the human deck. And I don't think I can uh, select my keep yet. Uh, da -da -da, you're able to have as many champions that are really under your banner as Lord and Lady... Uh, name wisely. Okay, so I don't get to choose. I want that one. I want the the one with the little like floating genie dude and the like Leviathan, the one in the top right. That one would be badass. So we're gonna go check out blind what the beta looks like. It's probably gonna look a lot like the alpha. I'm correct. So you can see, uh, it's the alpha. We have campaign. Any campaign? Anything like that? Nope. It is still not here. That's a bummer. Uh, profiles, block, social, card manager. Interesting. So yeah, this is our card manager. Looks exactly the same. Do we have all the heroes unlocked? We do indeed. That's, that's good to know. What is this? Okay, so this is my deck. I have... That's a pretty decent deck. It's a blue-white, humans. Uh, the rare is Lord of Lorda, or Prophet of Loghain. Uh, not the best champion to have, but you also do get uh, Lord Benjamin, so it's a nice trade-off. My card collection has all the shards in the world, and there's an inventory. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually redeem my hex, my Kickstarter stuff. I'm going to cut so you don't, well, I'll actually get it pulled up right now. Uh, da, da, da. Give me a second here. Yeah, so I'm going to actually redeem my Kickstarter bundle booty. My bootylicious booty. And show you what's what's going on with that. Oh, there's a GM message. Uh, us, no VA support ticket. Okay, so. Yeah, it's, it's people. People are cramming in right now. Sorry, I got to log into my email. But yeah, it's looking very polished for opening the very early beta. I'm I'm kind of impressed to see all the the changes to it. I'm I'm sad that I do not have a full collection of cards anymore, but half the fun is unlocking the cards and earning them. A lot of people would be kind of you know, like, "Oh, you know, you have that card. Man, 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 you're overpowered." But if everybody has every card, it kind of takes away the the skill of building a deck around what you have. And that's half the fun of building a deck. And once you actually finally have that complete and a 100% deck, it feels good. And it feels sturdy and it's it's nice. So it's going to be good to have that feeling again. Now, I want to read off what my uh, bundle includes since I was a Kickstarter. And we'll kind of go through here. Uh, editing me. Copy that out. Redeem code. And congratulations. We have... We received Princess Victoria alternate art. We received uh, another one. We received the Replicator's Gambit ultimate art. We got the backer sleeves. We have another pair of sleeves. Oh, we have three sleeves. And I have 45 booster packs. Fantastic. So, I should have had more. I believe I should have had. Let's go to our inventory here. So, yes. Uh, I have three uh, draft queue entries, which I can use at any point in time to get a free draft, and I have my 45 booster packs. That 
seems about it. I just said I had a bunch of other cards. Weird. Let's go to a new deck and see what I can pull up. Alright. Mm? I don't see my other cards. That's kind of a bummer. I wonder what the hell's going on with that. We'll delete this deck for now. And we'll, uh, let's go to the uh, store here and we'll un open up a couple of packs. So I haven't shown this actually on camera, but this is the new pack opening system. You can see here that there is a kind of roulette system now implemented on the side. So we're going to open a pack and I'll show you what happens. Alright, what do we got? See, now that actually it matters what I open, it's kind of nice to, to see. So, Mesmerize, a decent card. Uh, Bravery, eh, it's alright. Eh, not, not the best. Uh, definitely Adamantian Scrivener, very good card. Let's see. For Uncommons, Chosen, and additional cost. Da, 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 da. That, not too bad. Bloodtooth uh, Commander, not bad. And finally, my, my first rare of the beta is Ash Harpy. I... I don't know, Ash Harpy can be dealt with really easily, but it's not the worst problem. So, there's that, and I got a common chest. We're going to open up. Oh, I guess I can't. We're going to... Oh, I need uh, gold to spin the chest, unfortunately, so I can't open that just yet. We'll do... We'll go to 40. I want an even number. So here we go. Sorry, I've been eating Kung Pao chicken, so my nose is kind of runny. It's hot. What do we got? Lou. Let's see. Uh, this is a bit solid. Uh, Ivory Pond, always nice to have. Wild Growth is a fantastic green card. Uh, da -da -da. Reversion, not not bad. We'll see probably that in more play. Uh, Thunderbird, decent. And let's see what we got here. We have... Oh, are you kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Two in a row? <laughs> well. That's... And we got an uncommon chest. Interesting. I'm wondering how we're going to be able to earn gold. Um, that's something I'm curious about. I know we're going to have PP PvP aspects, but... Alright, what do we get in this pack here? Come on. Another Mesmerize. Uh... Grimison Witch. Da, da, da. Not, not too bad. Nothing I'd really shake a stick at. And finally, better not be Heat Wave! That is a much better red card. I'd rather see that any day. And we get another common chest. We're going to store that. Alright, and then this this pack to pack we have Hmm Uh we got we got Ruby Lance, not a bad card. Blood Savant, uh Warm Canist. Uh this is probably the best card in the pack, I'd have to say. Everything else is kind of lackluster at the moment, nothing really stands out. And finally our rare is Ash Harpy! No. He is actually a really decent card if you're running a red rush deck. So having him is pretty nice. But I'm wondering why every one of my rares is red right now. That's kind of... I wonder if that's just weird coincidence or if I'm just really unlucky or if that's something going on with the coding. We open this last pack up and then we'll go check out some other features. Alright, I already see Repel right there. Fantastic common. Great white control. Murder. Great... Great black control. Uh, charge bot, very good in some situations. We have uh, Demolish, which is uh, the only resource destruction I can think of. And Carrion Blob. Uh, decent card removal if you're playing against a certain deck. And another red, Legionnaire Gwayne. Uh, not another, not bad. But, you know, it's not something I'm going to probably play right off the bat and build a deck for. But that's, that's our packs. A uh, lot better now that we have it. I can buy VIP. What happens if I buy VIP? 
up, it took me to another website. And it's one one month is four dollars, three months is twelve, and a month is fifty. Not sure what the VIP program is going to give us at the moment. I should have it part of my uh, Kickstarter program, but we will see. So I found out I just needed to restart my client because, ta-da, they're in. And, yeah, I like the art a lot on this card, I have to say. the Compared to the original one, it, it's more dynamic. What else can I say about it? It's, it's interesting. Uh, pretty cool to check out. Um, I should also probably check out the new sleeves. Uh, let's see, how do I get the new sleeves? Uh, oh, I can just go back to the other deck. Uh, load. I'm so good at this deck. Oh, I also have uh, all the other decks added, I guess. So I have all the starter decks. It didn't tell me I got all the starter decks. So I have the starter decks. <laughs> So we'll actually go look at those probably in another video, but we will load up, I have, I have two of them, fantastic, the deck, and we will go to sleeves. Currently, the only sleeves I have are backer sleeves. I have the original, uh, the million dollar deck sleeve, so that's the one you got if they reached a million dollars, so I think everybody got that one. This is my captain deck uh, sleeves, as being a captain, I get those. And finally, the warrior sleeves. I'm not sure how you got the warrior sleeves, but really cool looking ones. I kind of miss the the ones we had in the alpha, but they'll probably be added as like pay pay for or unlocked in one way or form. There's one other thing I'm curious about. I'm going to purchase platinum. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, actually, left. You can see that it went blank. I kind of left the screen. I'll have to actually start that back up. We're going to go with uh, credit card. So I'm going to cut until I actually have the platinum in-game. So apparently buying platinum broke the game. I went uh, I went to the second off, off the screen uh, window, uh, bought my 500 platinum for 484 I think, before tax. I'm not sure. I'll have to check my... Uh, check what the the thing says but yeah and then it just kind of shut down it says lock back into the game and purchase the the platinum a uh, little little bug i can't get too mad but hey there it is 500 uh friends i have pending friends uh why why do i have why do i have that right there oh i, I have mail haha -ha. oh uh check how do I read? Okay. So it was a mail saying I got 500 platinum. Woo. And yeah. Uh, let's see what happens here. We'll go to card manager. We'll go to store. I, I was hoping to see if I can get some gold. But I guess not. The one thing I kind of want to check out is... I want to check out opening the crate, but I don't have any gold. So I'm going to play a couple of games and see if I can get that, and I'll be right back. So I did a little bit of research, and I found out that you can only collect gold from PvE events and tournaments. Unfortunately, the tournament servers are down, and I cannot test these crates. I am really bummed out. I was talking to Jelly Green, who just got his packs and stuff finished up, and he has some pretty cool ones. He actually has some... Um, like rare because there are four qualities there's common, uncommon, rare and then like the orange mythic whatever that one's called I think that one's like exponential or something like that I don't know so there's those four and between that they cost from 1,200 gold to about 1,200 so I'm not sure how much gold you get per win but it it's, it's something I want to test out later when I get a chance and that's really all the stuff I want to talk about the beta. I feel that it's a huge improvement from the alpha. It's heading in the right direction. And there's just a bunch of stuff coming up that I'm excited for. They have equipment ready to be implemented. We have the inventory system. We have the free drafts. And it's just, it's such a huge step. And I can't wait to see what they're going to add over these next coming months. And hopefully open it up to everybody so I can slaughter 
some innocent people. If you want to keep up to date with the beta and all sorts of other fun stuff, feel free to subscribe. We're looking for as much feedback as you can. We also have the Hex podcast that we put out every now and again when there is a new update. That one's kind of determined by when updates are actually done. Usually they put stuff out Thursday or Friday. Um, If there's nothing going on, we usually don't do a show because there's nothing to talk about. Anyways, this has been Water Elemental, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next beta video.